Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. So today we have a very simple video. Um, although the information is a little bit more uh, that you would have to punch in, but it's a very simple video. We are going to be looking at how we are going to um, register a new uh, family along with new students. Let us first log in. Once we log in, now again this information or this um, uh, uh, this facility is available to the only those individuals from the administrator who have been given these tabs if you look at the tabs on the top we have main school view student registration that's the registration menu that we are going to be looking at the best uh, way i found is keep the main screen open because we we may want to use it later on and go into the another open up another tab click the student registration and now you are over here this place is going to show you all the active families who have students who are uh, actively registered you can also click show all and it will show all the uh, families which are there sometime what happens is if a family their children are no longer coming then they uh, they leave and we don't really delete their account and their information rather we just mark them as ir ir irregular and um, that that helps us keep their name in the database in case after a month or two months they come back and they want to rejoin then we have that information already in there um, that being said we want to add a new family as we click the add new family the form has been given to us now the, uh, most of this information is the same information that uh, you would get in your registration uh, place as well so we can uh, look at here and uh, look at this now we have uh, for this is for the guardian information right right now nothing information no information about the guardian is found here he, we have first name last name now before we actually start to give out um, the first name and last name uh, i uh, one of the quick shortcuts that i can tell you whatever you're going to put as the f uh, first name um or whatever username you want to give to the to, uh, to the guardian you uh, you can put that as his name and then later on modify it and change it but uh, i will show you that maybe a later on let's uh, let's put it here and let's assume that the person who has come to us is a uh, fuzzle ahmed okay it's first name f a z a l and next name ahmed okay now last name ahmed what's the relationship uh, he's a father and he is going to have uh, 780 okay that's his number uh, he is going to have some address some address and then you're going to put a uh, postal code one important thing you should add is an email so since uh, we don't have any email or anything let's make it an email uh, fuzzle fuzzle at uh, ahmed.com okay this is just a spoof email uh, it's not real all right so once we click this we are not going to click the add new family because we already clicked that add new family now this is the uh, database entry that is open right now we are going to modify it so if when we click modify you will notice the username has been assigned fazal ahmed fazal ahmed if the fazal ahmed is already taken it will assign a completely new random uh, username uh, with fazal ahmed 123 or what something like that okay uh, the, so the parent has uh, is set uh, set up now look at the student data under this parent you can also set up the fees that is agreed for this particular family and you can set it up now uh, looking at the student data once we click uh, um, automatically a uh, one child is added into the system uh, so you can click this profile and you will get this form again uh, let's say the, um, the student uh, name is uh, um, ahmad ahmad okay so now um again i'm going to give a sh give a kind of a shortcut um uh, here uh we want to give this child a username that he will remember so if he is ahmad ahmad uh, normally as uh, i make it such that it's going to be ahmad ahmad so a a the first initials a a and then whatever is his age so let's assume that he is 10 years old and he was born in uh, uh, 2009 so what i will do instead of putting his full name i'm going to put a a 10 only right and nothing else i'm going to put uh, one is the requ requirement requ uh, mandatory field that is the birthday so let's go down to 2009 and 
let's assume it's first September okay right gender is male Quran level is on Qaeda you can set it to Nazira if you want or Hifs but it is Qaeda and we don't worry about the academic level and he is currently regular so when I click modify student it's going to assign that username over here now you notice AA10 probably is already taken which is a good thing because I want to show you how to change this username should uh, it be like that so let's give him his name now he is Ahmad Ahmad right and we modify and he gets this name and he has a username AA101 which is now weird everything is set up on his on this side you can actually add a new a new student um let's add another one and this is a child and a girl let's say her name is aisha ahmed okay again it's going to be aa so we we want to make sure now let's say say aisha is seven years old okay right so it's going to be aa seven and birthday is going to be right first september okay gender female in qaeda modify soon now because aa7 was not taken right so it assigned the username aa7 for her so we don't need to worry about it we can put her name in aisha ahmed and modify student data now um, you also notice over here if you're going to go back to Ahmad Ahmad we want to change his username to something more friendly um, so in this particular case uh, the only option over here is reset password right that's only going to work on the password not on the username so we need to go into his profile now and change the username I have shown this once before when we were going through the uh, how to assign the lesson to the student and on his report card let's go back onto the main and refresh this page so we should have now Aisha Ahmed right and Ahmed Ahmed as well right so now when we click this Ahmed Ahmed this report card opens up and we assigned Qaeda so Qaeda lesson has opened up so now look over here now we have the option over here of username AA101. Now we, we want to keep it something that he is going to remember. So let's put it to Ahmed because they normally remember their name. 10. 10. So we change it and he says choose another username. And this is normally what, uh, what may happen as well. Now while we are finding out uh, the usernames for the students there was uh, there was um, uh, one of the suggestion was we actually assign them student numbers right uh, which is fine if if uh, it's a regular school going on but if it's not a regular school then it's, it becomes difficult uh, to do so let's try something that is completely unique let's try it ahm for ahmed ahm and 10. i hope it's going to accept that and it does so once it gives you it gives it ahm10 you can reset the password it's going to be ahm10 this way this particular student is is now registered you can assign him lesson and he can continue the, uh, so the setting up the uh, student is very simple very easy you just have to go f uh, play around with this make sure all the fields are properly filled so that your database is fruitful and useful uh, for yourself and, uh, and this will be helpful jazakallah wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh